Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Uh, welcome to your tarot reading, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is entitled The One Who Broke Your Heart. Um, and we're going to be looking at this person that, you know, um, has hurt us, okay, that we were once connected to, married to, involved with, or had hoped a future would eventuate with. Um, this is going to be a reading, hopefully taking a glimpse into what's going on in their end. We'll see what cards come up around this person as we think about them, as we meditate on them, uh, and we'll see what comes up. Um, don't forget to leave behind a like um, and also to subscribe to the channel. That'll be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's lay out some cards here um, and see what's going on with this person. Okay, we all know who this person is. Let's, um, let's see what's happening with them. Okay, so there's definitely still sadness here. There's sadness and loss. Um, with a devil card could be a capricorn coming through here got the six of things are one-sided for this person or they're still hoping that the two of you could reconnect in a relationship um we've got pisces and capricorn as well as leo that have come up um the scales could indicate libra here as well so if you've been dealing with one of these signs this person has come up in the reading Okay, there's a lot of I'm doing well, but behind the scenes, it's not so good. Okay, this is all about showmanship. Now, the Six of Wands, for the most part, is victory. So for a lot of you, this person has been able to successfully move on from you or has been able to attain success in some level of their life outside of what you had romantically. The Page of Cups says to me straight away that they still fantasize about you, whether they admit it or not or whether they've ever said it or not, the Page of Cups is a dreamer of the Zodiac. Now, if they're not actively fantasizing about you, uh, they're dreaming about you. They're either dreaming about the hard times you've been through, or they're dreaming about the potential future and, and the love connection that you did have. Um, this person certainly could have believed uh, that you were their soulmate, okay, that you were their twin flame, you were their soulmate. They thought they would be the one... Um, you know, they thought you guys would get married, you'd settle down. Um, but at times they felt like things were one-sided or they're still thinking about things, but it's on a one-sided level, which would indicate um, water signs. You're not, you're not feeling the same connection to this person as they are. They're still mourning the loss. Um, the devil card could indicate that, they've, you know, maybe they've been on dates with other people. Uh, maybe they went back to someone toxic just to fill that void because they there's there's loneliness here the five of cups is loneliness you know these these people are in sheer desperation so there's someone desperate to have you back um but for some reason they could be letting their ego get involved and they're trying to stay resilient but their way of doing that um because the capricorn is very resilient their way of doing it is like i'm gonna mourn behind the scenes where you can't see me Maybe they don't want you to see how vulnerable they still are about the situation. You know, for some of you, this, this person broke your heart quite some time ago, so it's not as fresh anymore, at least not for you. But for this person, it's almost like they're still reliving it. Now, on the other side, um, I still I feel like for some of you watching, the Two of Cups could indicate that this person has met okay, a new person and they're in a committed relationship, okay? Um... They feel like they might have gotten a second chance at love, not necessarily with you, water signs, but there might be someone here in the picture. Um, and this new person is showing the contrast between what you had and what they have. So it's either this new relationship is toxic and just purely sexual, um, you know, there's a lot of obsession, there's unhealthy energies, or it's that they found their actual soulmate and twin flame and they're seeing your relationship as toxic. I still feel like things are one-sided here. So they're still looking at their side of the picture. Um, they're still thinking about what they did, uh, sorry, what you did wrong, where you were at, these sorts of things. It wouldn't indicate that this person right now is um, taking time to analyze where you both went wrong or what you both could have done to make things better. Okay, they're trying to be strong. They've got strength around them, so they're they're a strong character. They're in their mind. There's there's strength of um there's strength of mind, you know, maybe they're really good at no contact. They don't cave in. Okay, King of Swords. King of Swords could indicate this person wants to talk. There's something about the future here with the three of wands. Either they've thought about the future or they'd like to move into the future. 
Um, for some of you, this person is relocating, okay? Different city, state, or country. They could be moving further away. Um, it could be that this person has thought about having a relationship with you in a long-term future, um, or they've, they've been thinking about their future, but somehow you keep coming up in their thoughts. King of Swords could indicate they want to talk, okay? They want to explain things. They want you to explain something. Um, you know, it could be that they want peace, the four of pentacles they're still clinging they're still holding on to you here um even though some of you with the six of swords they've moved on with another person it could be a leo uh with the strength card it could indicate there's still a very strong attraction okay or a very strong like chemistry or intimate attraction for you um or that they're still they're still holding on to you You know, they're still giving it a lot of thought. The owl is a creature that sees everything. Okay, he's the watcher of the woods, so to speak. So it makes me think this person might still be checking up on you um, online. Maybe they see you. Um, maybe they're sort of doing some spying. They just want to see how you are. They check into your Facebook or your Instagram or your Twitter. And they sort of want to, they want to see you. They want to see you again, maybe. But they don't get that opportunity. Um, they might have had or will have an epiphany about you. The Four of Cups is like a realization when we when we understand something or we get to know it better. Um, so seeing that in the cards, it makes me think that this person is either about to have some sort of epiphany about your connection or about your love or about you um, or has had one um, recently. Okay, for some, I think, though, that this person wants to move. Either the memories are too painful for where they are now, or they want a fresh start. Um, either they're looking to relocate to a different city, state, or country. It's about movement, that Three of Wands, and it's about something that could impact their future. For some of you, this person has to relocate for work, even. They may communicate this to you. You may find this out. King of Swords can be knowledge. So you might find this out that that's taking place here, in particular around an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, we've got a couple of air cards here. We have Cups, which I think is you. Earth, a little bit of fire here, mostly Leo. So Leo is, you know, they're taking ownership. They're, they're becoming more confident in themselves as the days go by, as the months go by. And they're becoming more confident in love as well, um, is what I'm getting from this too. I'll leave your reading at that though. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Um, please leave behind a like or a subscribe. Uh, lots more content coming your way. So thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. I hope you're staying happy and healthy. And until next time, bye for now.